guys, Gabby. Can you guys let me know if you can hear me okay? Can you hear me okay?
to start, I think, with the leather jackets then. So, I have four. Um, so, this one is by, I guess,
Let's an Oreo next. It's really different to normal Oreo. It's uh, much plainer. Um, I saw the whole thing tastes a lot more like, almost like a custard cream. Salt and pepper. I love this 
pleasure to have you on here. I always love your show as well. So I want to give actually some shout outs to check out uh, Zofia ASMR, Kanashi Eats, um, Salt and Pepper, and Chow Crunch. Um, these guys are some of the some of the channels I follow. They are brilliant. So if you like ASMR or mukbang or food reviews, they fit into all those categories. Also, Oki ASMR. There's so many more I love, but that will be a good start for now. At some point, I think I'll make a playlist with all my favorite um, creators, some of my favorite videos from each of them. <laughs> okay, so I also, as an additional, have to do the leather jackets, which was another request, so I'm going to try on the next leather jacket now. Does anyone else here like uh, the leather jackets? Is that a trigger for them? Biscoff spread. So she brings out the jar 
She carefully turns the lid, takes it off, eats some of the lotus spread out of it, but then she picks up the lid of the jar and eats that too, then the glass jar. She starts eating that too, and even though it looks and sounds like glass, it's all cake. Um, but yeah, Zach Joy and Annie B are amazing. Um, I, there's also some uh, others, um, Jella ASMR, it's really good. Um, trying to think who else. Oh, I can't think off the top of my head right now, but those are definitely some of the, the favourites of the bigger ones. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I missed any questions. You can do two triggers together, for example, jacket with Oreo or jacket with paper. That could be great. Okay. Okay, Scavy, I will do the... So I have two more jackets to try on. When I try on the last jacket, I'll keep it on while I do the paper. Um... Enjoying the zippers. It's it's definitely different chow crunch doing a live event, especially because I'm trying to consider that the requests were for specific noises, but then I'm also talking over it, so I don't know if that's not ideal or if that's ruining the request. I hope it's not. Um, and also just trying to keep an eye on the chat, make sure I don't miss anybody's questions. <laughs> <clears throat> HWB. Um, sorry, Kanashi, I don't know what HWB means. Um, hi there, Wagging, how are you? Laura, you said, can I do crepe cake ASMR? What is crepe? Um, <laughs> I'm not nervous, I'm more just trying to keep up with everything. <laughs> oh, thank you, Salt and Pepper. It's meant to be original, greatly. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I'm going to try on the next jacket. I didn't realize leather jackets were such a big trigger. one more, so I'll try the one more and see how it is with the papers. Can I do a crepe cake? Um, okay, so let me just get back to answering some questions. So, let's see. Um, so, we have... 
actually um, I do follow quite a lot of mukbangers. I think I've got about 400 uh, ASMR artists and mukbangers that I follow. Um, I try to keep up and watch as much of everyone's content as I can, but some some of my favorite con uh, creators, they do put out content almost every day or every other day. And when you're following 400 people that post content that regularly, it's difficult to watch it all and keep up. So, especially because up until very recently, everything was on lockdown here in London, but now they've started opening things up again. So it's meant that I'm actually out a bit more. Um, but I try to keep up. So I'm with the, the, the creators I follow who post uh, more like once a week. I'll try and watch everything they put out. But I realized it wasn't sustainable to keep watching everything that's put out by people who post more often than that. I just, there's not enough hours in the day. So I just try and keep up with watching as many posts as I can uh, from everyone. Um, I think um, of, you asked about that I follow who are Korean, I'm trying to think. There are quite a few. Um, so there's, oh, there's so many. I'll have, what I'll do is I'll have a look at the end. After this, I'll post a comment and I'll link some of my favorite artists, uh, mukbangers and ASM artists, or I'll make a playlist. I know that there's Morgash and there's uh, Mitch and the, the thing is, I'd be here for so long just trying to remember and name them all. Better if I can look on my list of who I'm following and then just select them. Um, okay, so just scrolling back up to see what else I've been asked. sure what a crepe cake is. I know what crepes are and I know what a cake is but I've never heard of a crepe cake. Do you just mean like a crepe? Like a, a crepe with, you know, banana and chocolate in it or something?
forceps go, they twist around. <laughs>
shouldn't rip up. <laughs> show it to you. It's very, very nice. So, this was quite some time ago, but at the Tate Britain, um, they did an exhibition for William Blake. Very cool. And I'll just read you the introduction because I think that I can and that's not a issue shouldn't be. Um, the art and poetry of William Blake have influenced generations. He has inspired many creative people, political radicals and independent minds. His images and words are admired around the world for their originality and spirituality. Blake lived at a time of radical thought, war, and global unrest. The British Empire was expanding. New ideas about social justice developed alongside rapid industrialization. Blake created imaginative images and texts that resonated with this changing world. They drew on his deeply felt religious beliefs and personal struggles.
cards. Um, but I won't go into it because I can't probably see it clearly enough. It's another one of his pieces. So my friend, one of my best friends, um, she she took me to this exhibit. She and her boyfriend have uh, passes for the Tate Britain, which um, they have. They pay a membership so they can go and see any exhibit when it comes, and it's already included in the price they pay for the membership. But instead, he was working, and she took me um, on his membership. So we got to go and look. Because normally, if you don't have a membership, then you have to buy tickets for it, and they sell out as well. So. So it's really nice. Ink. Yeah, it's kind of it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep that. It's a nice memento. Do you guys have any more questions? This was a, a late surprise birthday present somebody sent me. Um, they sent me a box of little cupcakes from Hummingbird Bakery with this card. It's very sweet. Um, then we have this, uh, which came in with an order um, on Etsy. There is a company called Ceramics. Ceramics, and they do uh, these really cool. Hi, Russ. Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, so they do these really cool, uh, like sugar bowls, mugs, plates, um, all kinds of kitchenware, but they're made um, the shape of skulls. So if you like things like, like one of my favorite films um, from childhood was The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I still love it. And Halloween is the best holiday, well, holiday, in my opinion. I love dressing up. So, um, yeah, they do uh, a lot of things that are perfect for that, if you want to get your Halloween bits in. Facebook page, which was basically the 
facebook.com forward slash jackalpackband don't know if anyone wants to look them up there you go <laughs> they were pretty good I'm glad you're well yes <laughs> 2020 I have not opened some of this mail you know when mail comes you can see if it's actually important or if it's you know, oh, I can wait. It's kind of junk mail, probably. So I end up with like a pile of it. <laughs> and then I forget about it. This isn't even all my paperwork. This is one pile of it. So I could probably do another video of this. <laughs> Get through all the paperwork. <laughs>
was between uh, 2018 and 2019. It's a very old voucher.
and normally, uh, like the things that I've shopped, I've not shopped them here. So the background noises may have been a bit different. Now that I'm living here, there's, I live above a road, so there's quite a bit of spreading uh, staples out.
quarter or a fifth of the first pile of <laughs> So, I mean, maybe I will save. So maybe, maybe I'll save the rest and do them on another. Like, when I reach another milestone or something.
just chill and have fun. And then on Monday, I'm starting uh, the Block Lattes, uh summer workout training. Do a quest night, one of them would make up a quest and a bingo thing. 
but for me it's all actually quite therapeutic but I think normally I'd find the, the um, organizing like a thing I can't be bothered with because I have other things to do whereas because I'm doing it for something it's more engaging to do it if that makes sense um, and the ripping is just it's always fun <laughs>
four weeks or six weeks of each step. So right now we're in the step where you can go to restaurants and restaurants can open and bars, but only if they have outdoor seating. Like you can't go inside, you can only sit outside and it can only be in groups of six from no more than two households. But you can't have um, more than six and it can't be from more than two households and you can't do anything indoors. Loosely, those are the rules. I mean, those are the rules, but loosely they are being followed. Um, and all the shops are open again, or most of the shops. But, uh, why do you, why do you cut all these leaves? What leaves? Oh, the, the paper. <laughs> um, but, uh, this was, so, uh, this was a request. Challenge. This was uh, because I reached 400 subscribers. I said I would take any requests, and and there were some requests that I'd had before. And one of them was to sort out papers and then to rip out the papers. So I'm doing that now. I've also had requests for trying different strange flavor Oreos, which I've done, but I can do some more of in a bit. And then uh, the other request was to wear leather jackets, like somebody had a trigger with the sound of leather jackets. So I've tried on four leather jackets. This was the one that was decided, sounded the best. So, and now I'm just ripping up the remaining paper. <laughs> Twenty 
saved on my Etsy, uh, the ones I follow, so. Guys, can I ask, what was your, uh, all my episodes so far, and the different things I've eaten, and the different themes, what was your favorite one so far?
did an episode of uh, afternoon tea, very British uh, afternoon tea, white tea, uh, in celebration of the Queen's birthday. Unfortunately, I had a, an error where some of the footage got lost, but I managed to kind of explain it in like a little clip. episode on paella.
not so good, which is mixed up with seafood, and the sea, and it's not cooked quite right, then the seafood in it can be a bit rubbery, and then it's not great. So it's definitely, if you're not sure of the place that you're getting in, it's definitely worth going for a meat or vegetarian. These are usually the, the kinds of paper which come in voucher packs, so I get them every few months. I will save them for you.
think we'll say a quarter. That's all ripped up. So I'll show you what it's come to. Thank you. 
it's about one minute fifty. Sorry, one hour fifty five minutes in, I think. So once I post this up, I'll put the um, I'll put the timestamps up for all the different things. <laughs> yes, the recycling bit. I know if I'd have done it with all the papers, we'd be here. I, I can show you now. Hang on, let me see if I can bring this around to show you. So that's just some. This is just one bio. It was up to here before. And I've gone through this. So. I will save this for another time. <laughs> Hi, video engineer. Hiya, thank you. Oh, guys, what would you like to see in the future? Is there anything particular you'd like to see for future videos or for future lives? Actually, yeah, lives are quite fun. I'm up for doing more lives. What would you like to see in the future? <laughs> I know, right? So much. <laughs> I'm sure I can edit it afterwards. But yeah, I would really uh, love it if you guys 
guys would check out her stuff when she does it. She does really beautiful stuff, um, like tapping videos and um, playing with her hair and things like that. But she has lovely hair. It's like really, really long. Um, yeah, I will give you her details.
Oh, you mean no whispering? Do you mean whispering, Laura, or do you mean no whispering? <clears throat> so tough. There's so many things I really love. Um, hi, Laura. <laughs> so, um, favorite foods? Oh, well, I really love pizza. I also, thank you. Thank you very much, and hello and welcome. <laughs> You've missed quite a bit, but it'll be on the replay. <laughs> um, yeah, favorite food. Let's see. So, pizza, steak, I also have certain favorites that are just like the cheese toasty. I love like simple things like that sometimes, like great like, comfort foods. I also love sushi. Um, I, uh, oh, it's very difficult to pick one. Oh, you poor thing. Well, I suppose it's not that time where you are, is it? It'd be like normal sort of time, 6.30. Was it a long day? Yeah. There's a there's a place here, there's a restaurant here called Hawksmoor. And Hawksmoor does oh they do all the cuts of steak, like they're really good cuts, and they do a cut that I I'd not actually heard of before until somebody took me to Hawksmoor. It's called Chateau Bouillon. And oh my god, it's the it's just like super juicy and soft and like no fat or chewy bits just oh, melt in your mouth oh such good steak Chateau Bouillon if you get the opportunity to try it do <laughs> but it's usually quite expensive it's lovely though so did you have any other questions oh the other thing which I would say is yeah my favorite foods probably at the top is sweet things so cake sweets biscuits <laughs> chocolate <laughs> my overall favorite thing probably is chocolate <laughs> what about you what's your favorite food laura ilani you had some 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 questions as well, didn't you? I'm actually just gonna check. Um, I think I was posted some questions on uh, Instagram. Oh, hot dogs are good. Actually, you know, um, have you had uh, Shake Shack? I don't know if you, yeah, you must get that over there. Oh, my favorite bands are, Wait, what do you mean? Why am I wearing a low cut top? It's not very low cut. <laughs> Welcome back, Scabby. Is it Scabby? Or scabby, the first one scabby, or the second one scabby. Um, oh, you asked what my favorite bands are. Oh, wow, there's so many. Um, I am a, I'm a bit of an eclectic, but I'm particularly into my pop punk and my rock and metal. Um, probably my favorite band, one of my favorite bands of all time, is probably Real Big Fish. They're really fun. Scaby or Scarby, Scarby. <laughs> I'm not sure which pronunciation. Um, okay, is it number one? 
question a favorite band so favorite band of all time real big fish but i also really love uh the pretty reckless um uh, corn the original stuff of theirs um my ruin Dura satana um god there's so many more i'm just years ago. 
strange mix. <laughs> Strawberry cheesecake Oreos with a mental. I don't think that would work. <laughs> of work. 
work for a while and that's um, when I was, you know, kind of like most people going a little bit nuts with all the lockdowns and then I started this, I found um, ASMR mukbang very uh, stress relieving and then I decided that I wanted to do it myself and so I started this project but because my career is usually working behind the camera and not in front of it, um, I guess my concern is that when the world goes back to normal and I am working or looking for work again in that industry, I don't want them to Google me and find this and for it to uh, uh, in some way discredit me from my abilities behind the camera, if that makes sense. So, yes, I just prefer to keep this as an alter ego with a slightly separate uh, identity and not showing my face so that my career um, doesn't get affected by it. Uh, but otherwise, I would have been happy to show my face fully. Yeah, that, that's the answer to your question. Yes, bladdery tooth. What do you mean uh, that you want to said no? <gasps> oh, so the bl the brand of macaroon here, bladdery. We do have one here in London. I think actually we have two, um, but it's just very expensive. Like, okay, I'll give you an example. Um, so if we go on to, so this is it, bladdery. Uh, I don't know if you can see. So, Lattery Macrons, if I go to their um, Lattery London and I look at their gift sets, so for example, except cookies, okay, so I think also you pay for the box as well, like it's a massive circus, but so for example, this, this box, um, this, oh no, that's not the one, this of macarons is 38 pounds, which is nearly 40 pounds for one, two, three, four, five, oh, five, ten, eleven, twelve, for 13 macarons. So it's just quite expensive, and I couldn't really do an episode and just have like two or three macarons. I could maybe do two or three currants as well like tonight where I've only had a few Oreos and then I've also done the paper ripping and the leather jackets so if you'd be happy with that I could do that um, in, in a future uh, maybe for like another celebration live like when I hit I don't know 500 subscribers or something I could do a couple do you have any particular preference in colors or flavors? I'm also going to look into Laura's request of the, um, oh wow, okay, WFT motions. I, I think you're just being a troll and rude and unnecessary, okay, so I'm just going to remove
How can I help you guys? <laughs> Literally coming in just as I was gonna end the stream. I guess I keep going for a little while. Um, hello, hi all of you people. <laughs> Gigi. Thank you for coming. So this is funny, I was going to end the stream, but now I guess I keep going. Um, so I am... Um, uh, oh, WFT motions. If you are not enjoying the stream, then please leave. There is no need to be trolled. Best 
I did have some other things just in case. So, I can put one of them to use now. Sleep well. Wait a minute, because there's some noisy traffic going. 